Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today, we get to the 10th part of the inventory system. I know not all of you have got here, but the ones that have found it useful are here with me. So welcome. Today, we're going to do a really nice thing. We're going to do a pop-up alert of low stock and out of stock. So let me show you quickly to see if it's something that interests you. I have this product, I have it in zero, I have no stock. And these two products, I have it with low stock. For me, low stock is below three, but for you, it could be 10, less than 10, less than 15, less than two. Depending on the product, you will have different thresholds of low stock. So for me, it's less than three. And out of stock, it will always be zero. So what we're going to do today is to get to this point. I'm going to refresh. And every time you open up your file, you're going to get this alert. So you're going to get a message saying these are your out of stock products and here you'll have a list of them in my case i only have one and you're going to have a, a list of your low stock products saying what is the product the reference the name and how many units you have left and if you have 20 it will show you 20. okay this is a first attempt of doing this we could improve it by doing HTML pop-ups with much uh, with colors, with a lot of things. This is a very simple message that gets the point through and is every time you open it, you're going to see which of your products are low or out, or out of stock, okay? I know you're going to enjoy it, but before you do, let me invite you to supporting me in the Patreon page or in practicalsheets.com when I'm about to launch some nice courses in Google Sheets, Google Apps Script and more. And if not, you can just subscribe to the channel. It will support me a lot. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the video. So what I'm gonna do is to create a pop-up. Just have one thing into account in this. The first thing is that if you manage this from your cell phone, the pop-up won't work. Okay, so this is the first thing. The second thing is that there are a lot of ways of do this pop-up. We're going to start in a very simple way and then we can step it up do some HTML, some really nice looking pop-ups. But for now, let's see that it works and then we can uh, expand it if you like. Okay, so what we're going to show is the low stock products, okay? So for example, here I have one out of stock and I have two low stock products. So what I want to do is every once in a while, maybe each time you open the file, for example, you look into this, and see which products are in zero and then you show me which are in zero and maybe you can look which are below three or below two it depends on your business which is the low threshold and then you can say okay this is out of stock and these two are low in stock that's it that's what we're going to do so we need to do google apps script we've done a bit for setting the price and inserting a row above I'm going to remove this. I don't like this, this causes trouble. So if you've done macros, I prefer to delete this, okay? And we could minimize this, minimize this, and minimize this. We're going to do a function that alerts those stock. So we're going to take this table and search for a stock that is zero, okay? This is the first thing we're going to do. So to access this, then first we're going to access our book or our worksheet. Then we're going to access the stock spreadsheet. And finally, we're going to get this data. So let me see if in the set price function, we have something like that. We have this, that we could, we could leave it out as a global variable. So I could put it here, my worksheet. And then I could also take this and copy it down here okay but i don't want my product sheet i want my stock sheet and this won't be named products but stock okay now i need the data from my stock sheet so i could do stock sheet dot get data range what does this do it stands here in a1 and then gets everything until the last data. In our case, it could be row 20. If you don't have array formulas, this is why I don't love array formulas. If you have set this up with array formulas, then you have to do another sort of adjustments. 
if you've been following me and you have this like I did, so then you won't have a problem. Okay, so let's get this data. Get data range and then get values. Let's save this in a variable called stock array, could be. And now I'm going to use first a filter that is going to filter column F when the value is zero. So let's do stock array dot filter. And we're going to filter each row when row in the position. If this is column six, then it will be zero. Remember that arrays start in zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So row in the position five has to be zero. Let's lock our stock array before and after. Let's save and let's run this alert low stock for now. Maybe I'm going to be asked for a few permissions. Yes. Okay, so I have my first problem here. That here actually the stock is in zero. Why? Because I should wrap this up in an if like this one. Let's copy this and let's paste it here. If this means that if this column A in this row is empty, then leave everything empty and that's it. Let's hit enter and Control shift down and Control d as in duplicate. Now it works perfectly. I'm going to paste this if also here, just to remove this problem. Let's see, Control shift down, Control d I'm going to call this filter, filtered array, or filtered stock array if you prefer, to be more clear. And then we're going to lock our filter so to see if it's what we're what we're looking for okay let's save and let's run so one thing i could do let, let's see if this could work i'm going to remove these double quotation marks also here also here also here and also here so i'm going to take all of this row say control shift down and then control d to duplicate everything and let's see if now it may work let's run it again and apparently it works okay so the key here was to not leave this as a double quotation mark because these four google sheets means space but if i leave it empty it's like there's nothing there so it will only count up until this 20. even if we have a formula Given that when this is empty, here I'm saying, okay, this is empty, then leave this empty, don't worry. Okay? So now it's working because when I filter, I'm having just the one I need. Well, actually, I don't want this New York, so I could put something here. Or I could bring this New York here down and delete this one. Better yet. So I don't have the problem here. Again, one time more. Now I have what I want, the zero one. Okay. So now I need this name, the Mastodon t-shirt. If you want, we could do both the, um, the code and the name of the product. So let's go here. And once we have our filter stock array, we're going to do a map function. And what we're going to do in our map, filter stock array dot map. For each row, in this case, we only have one row, but you, we may have more than one row. So in each row, we're going to get row in position zero, that is the code, and where we can concatenate it with this plus and concatenate it with row in position one. So what this will bring is the reference and then the product. And this is what we're going to show. Okay, so we're going to save this in another variable called empty product or out of stock products better. So this will bring me an array with TS004 slash Mastodon or 
dash Mastodon t-shirt. And if I had other in zero, it will also bring it to me. Now, what I want to do is to join these out of stock products in just one text. That's the text I'm going to show in my pop-up. So how do I do this? I will take out of stock product and I will say dot join. And I'm going to join it with comma or better yet, um, maybe a period and then a line break. Okay, so that each product it's, is in its own line. And we're going to call this variable message. Actually, I'm going to start the message saying, these are your out of stock products. And then we'll say colon and then two line breaks. So we have a space. And then we're going to say message plus equal. This means that it will take the message and then add each product, all of the product. Okay. And now, finally, we just need to deploy the message. For this, we need to connect our spreadsheet app and that, then get UI and then alert. And alert only needs a message. And the message will be this message I have here. Okay, let's save, let's run. And when I have this loading here, it may mean that I already have my pop-up here. Okay, these are your out of stock products. Perfect, let's try it with another product. For example, let's say I'm going to sell four of these wizard hoodies. And then here I have it in zero also. So let's play it again. You can see here that my array has two. So if I go back here, I have two. Okay, what happens if I have zero? I'm going to buy one Mastodon t-shirt and I'm going to buy one wizard hoodie so that I'm not out of stock or two or three. Let's see here. Three, three. Okay, now I don't have anything out of stock. So what happens now if I run? This is empty. So here it says, these are your out of stock products. So maybe what I could do is, if there are no out of stock products, then what I could do is just say, well, there are no out of stock products. So what I can say is that if these out of stock products length is greater than zero. So there's at least one, and we're going to, to have an if function. If this is greater than zero, then the message, actually let's define the message here, variable message without anything. So the message will be, these are your out of stock products, and then we'll do each product. Let's put this inside brackets, these two. But if it's zero, so let's say else, then the message will be, congratulations, you don't have out of stock products. Okay, let's save it and let's run again. Let's see, here, excellent, okay. So now maybe what I want to do is to uh, show this when the, when the file is open. So I'm going to create an unopen function or uh, this is called a simple trigger. And I'm going to call this alert slow stock. That's it, nothing more. With my parentheses, I'm going to save and I'm going to reload my file. Congratulations, you don't have out of stock product. Now I'm going to sell, let's say, four of these Nirvana posters. Okay, so now this is zero. Let's reload my file again. Excellent. Works really, really well. 
here I don't have to put how many units there are because if you are off stock is because you have zero. Okay. What I can do before I go is to also put the ones that are below three, for example. So here I'm saying I, I did this uh, filter for row five equal to zero. So actually I shouldn't call this filter stock array, but out of stock array. I'm going to create another one that is called low stock array. So low stock array will be when row five is greater than zero and row five is less than three. Okay, so it's when there's one or where there is two. That's it. And I'm going to do the same, this same thing here. Out of stock product, this is low stock product. And it will be low stock array with the same map function. Okay. So what I could do is after we do this if, we're going to do another if, very similar to this one. If low stock product length greater than zero, I'm going to do message plus equal because if we are out of stock, then I want to first to show the out of stock. And then if we uh, continue and say, we're going to say that there are products or that there are no products uh, low stock, we're going to do it here. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is to create another break line or line break. I don't know how it's called. Then we're going to say these are your low stock products. And here we're going to join the low stock products. But if there are no low stock products, then I will say also congratulations again with a line break at the beginning. You don't have low stock products. It's the same. Let's save. In our case, I have one out of stock Nirvana poster and two low stock Tenacious D t-shirt and 311 hoodie. So let's see if this works. Let's refresh. Perfect. These are your out of stock products. These are your low stock products. Maybe I should put another line break here. Maybe two line breaks. Okay. Extension subscript. So here, down here, I should put maybe another line break. Okay. And also here. And maybe I could put how many units am I missing? So here I can say here is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So here in the column five of the array, here in low stock products, I could concatenate it a bit further and say row five and let's concatenate it with, oh, here I, I, I did it wrong. I put the quotation here, then plus sign. Okay, perfect. And then here I could say, for example, it's two, two units left. Okay, let's save and let's play it again. Let's reload. Okay, these are your out of stock products, P004, Nirvana poster. These are your low stock products, TS2 Tenacious D t-shirt, one unit left and a 311 hoodie, two units left. I put double double period, but I think it looks really nice. Maybe you can make this text better, put some spaces here. Maybe we could also do some conditionals that if it's just one unit, you say one unit without the S. I think there are small details that we could improve, but I think it looks really nice. It's a nice way of once you open this every day, every morning, or your supervisor opens it, or the one that is in charge of stocks, they can easily see which are the, the, the stocks that are out of stock, that are low in stock, and what to do about it. And it will, every time you open it, it will show you. Okay? So, I hope you like it. And as always, if you like it, please consider supporting me. There are many ways of doing it. I have my Patreon page. I have my new about to premiere a online academy based on all these subjects, practicalsheets.com, or you can just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every week you have at least one video. Thank you so much. See you next time.